Hello and welcome to Vintage Wine & Port's short and sweet series where we're looking at JW Hart's 1981 Tawny Port here. Now this is a very exclusive bottle to VWP, we've procured it for the 40th anniversary period of 2021. Uh, I'm going to hand over to Dia and Tony now, they'll tell you much more about the bottle and their thoughts on it. We're lucky today to be able to try something quite rare. Uh, it's a quality support from JW Hearts. We've tried to research the name and there is very, very little information about this. It's from a French company. We were able to buy the entire stock from a French company. It was bottled in 2013. Um, we believe it's from um, some Sojuvinus stock. We're not totally sure which particular brand it is. However, it's an interesting port very interesting bottle and it was bottled in 2013 so when you open this you just need to give it a little bit of time for any dustiness to, to evaporate or blow off um, and then it develops into a very very nice very fine wine again we would serve this about 14 degrees c 14 to 16 just just a little bit below room temperature just just ever so slightly chill so that as it warms up you get the aroma starting to develop in the top of the glass so moving on to the aromas, dear. Well, what what do you think? What can you pick I, up in um, this? Well, interestingly, I, I I pick up a lot of freshness in this and a lot of fruit. Uh, whereas Kalidas uh, generally, you know, you'll find some butterscotch or caramel notes. In this one, actually, I find a lot of marmalades, quince jelly, which I absolutely love. Um, it's uh, it's got some spice in there. Uh, such as allspice. I cannot like uh, actually put a, a reference to what it is, but it does have some spiciness. It's quite interesting and uh, it renders some sort of complexity. It reminds me of eating quince jelly on uh, in Quinta de la Rosa, just, just outside Pinhao. Um, absolutely Marmalade. glorious. The marmalade mm. tastes absolutely come through. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of a vin de Constance, so sort of um, a South African wine yeah. that's just absolutely has masses of marmalade. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting that coming through. Absolutely glorious. I love these sort of. I love. I love citrusy wines. It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, it's definitely a marmalade, all orange peel. Um, you know, a lot of these citrus fruits coming out. And actually, I shouldn't discount it because I did pick up a whiff of caramel in the background. It's like as a little note sort of thing that, uh, but as we swirl the wine, as we try more, and as we said earlier, the aromas jump out of the glass, we will keep finding more and more uh, on the nose. Shall we try? Yeah, please do, yes. Oh, okay, that, that, that marmalade, mm. the, the citrus comes across. Absolutely. Great balance, mm -hmm. really, really full on flavors. Great mouthfeel as well. It feels like a silky lining of my mouth. Mm -hmm really enjoying it and the finish just goes on and on on and on yeah the finish is long uh the the structural components such as the acidity balance nicely with the sweetness interestingly again i find so uh, like a hint of dried mushroom in there which i always associate with complex wines and interesting wines and also I, i'm with you tony i think the finish is long uh it's absolutely lovely lovely wine to sip really enjoyable quite moorish <laughs> and fresh for, for a wine that's been bottled in 2013 and spent for seven years, um, it's absolutely wonderful, wonderful to see. So absolutely, from, from the 81 harvest, stored in a barrel, bottled in 2013 13. and available now, yeah. we probably have the last 90 or so bottles in existence of this. So it's a, it's a real treat for anyone who's got a 40th birthday this year. Um, they know that they're picking up something that's great quality, is unique. There's very, very, very little port around from uh, 1981. In fact, no vintage port was made at all, uh, and only a few collie eaters exist, and, and this is one of them. So it's an absolute pleasure to taste mm. these. In terms of rating, I would, I would definitely rate this as um, in towards excellent, outstanding wine. It's beautiful. My rating would be around 91 to 92 points. Uh, I'd put it in the outstanding category. It, I can't really find a huge amount of fault with this at all. Certainly in the early 90s is where I'd like to place it. Uh, I'm quite happy to go around 92, 92, 93, settle on 92 for this. Perfect. I think it's a very, very good one. 
and we'll reflect that rating when we uh, write a review into the VWP tasting notes. Thank you very much for your time.